Hey homeowners, this is Bianca for another episode of MF Home TV. So we're going back to the basics once again with this episode. Today we're going to talk about the do's and don'ts of styling your coffee table. Your coffee table is always present in your living room, so it's so important that it looks good without compromising on functionality. But first things first. What you will need is an industrial measuring tape, like this. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and let's get started. <laughs> The first basic knowledge that you should know before you purchase your coffee table is to know what the right size is for your sofa. You should get a sofa first and let the other design and furniture follow, not the other way around. Your coffee table should be half the length or two thirds of the sofa you have. In this way, your coffee table will be enough for the number of people that will sit on your sofa. Getting a small coffee table for a three-seater sofa is not functional as everything will crowd on top of the table instead when your guests or your family is using it. Now that we've got the right size, it's time to take into account the height. The perfect coffee table for your sofa should not be four inches higher or four inches lower than the seat part of your sofa. Your living room should be a place of relaxation and comfort. So when you have to strain your back by bending down to place something on the table, it just ruins the purpose. On the other hand, when you get a tall coffee table and you place decor on top, it blocks your view. We've got the perfect coffee table now, so it's time to start talking about decorating it. Rule of thumb for coffee table styling is that the decor should look good on all sides. A coffee table is placed in the center, so its 360 degree angle should look good wherever you are seated in the sofa. Placing a photo frame will not work in coffee tables as there's a front and a back. What works best are vases. In decorating rectangular shaped coffee tables, it's important to keep it balanced. We place a unique piece in the center, making it our focal point. It could be a flower arrangement, a vase, or a figurine. At each side will be smaller objects with the same visual weight. It's okay if they're not identical, as long as they balance the whole coffee table and they coordinate with the other colors in the room. With round and square coffee tables, the trick is to make a triangle layout. Just like what we did with the rectangular shaped coffee table, we bring out the focal point. What makes a focal point? It is the tallest object in the group. But remember, not too tall that it will block your view. It will be on the tip of the triangle layout. Your triangle could go sideways and slanted, but it shouldn't flip over so that the triangle base is facing the sofa. It will make your coffee table look heavy and unbalanced. We bring in two other groupings to finish the layout. Remember the interior design basics from our previous episodes? So, do varying heights and bridging the gap. Sometimes there are coffee tables that have that multi-table design. The trick there is to not overcrowd it. Putting a lot of decor on top of it will ruin its functionality. You won't have space for your drinks and snacks and other important things if you place too much decoration. The best way to approach styling coffee tables like this is to take it as one large coffee table other than two or three smaller coffee tables so you won't have to repeat the groupings. Lastly, the base. Some coffee table designs have a lower level 
don't keep it empty or cram a lot of stuff in it because you think no one's gonna see it because trust me they will in the bottom ground the coffee table with one large object like this if you don't have something large enough to balance the bottom you can do two groupings And those are the basics. I hope you guys learned a lot today. Do you homeowners want to know more about anything? Why don't you just comment your suggestions or your questions down below? Of course, don't forget to like, subscribe, and tap the bell icon. See you guys again next week. This is Bianca, inspiring your home. This is the comment of the week. Congratulations to last week's winner. This week's prize.